Our first stop of the day is how an Aquascape contractor lives the lifestyle. When did you build this? You just moved in here recently, right? I actually finished this about a week ago. You knew I was coming. I knew you were coming. <laughs> Ever since I built this pond, this cat sits out here all day long and just is mesmerized by the pond. <laughs> No, I don't watch TV when I come home. I just sit here with uh, me and the cat, and we'll just sit out and chill by the pond. And it just recharges my batteries. Amen. I am in Beaufort, South Carolina, and there is my ride, Trevor Stever. How you doing, buddy? We got here about 1 a.m. He was all excited because I'm a runner. I like to run, and try to stay in shape. And he told me that Forrest Gump ran right down the street across the bridge. Right. And I'm like, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm gonna go for a run and that's how I'm gonna start my day. And I hit my alarm button three times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drive you over the bridge anyway, so you'll still get to see Okay, I'm gonna drive over to the bridge. I'm Greg Whitstock the Ponga. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock the Ponga. Look at these cute dogs. And it's all about living the aquascape lifestyle. So let's go look at some of your beautiful water features, my friend. Our first stop of the day is how an aquascape contractor lives the lifestyle. Island Garden features. I see okay. some Aquascape products right there. Same yeah. essentials that we keep and then that's <laughs> So your garage has been taken over by Aquascape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we can see this pond? Yeah, let's go through here. you build this? You just moved in here recently, right? I actually finished this about a week ago. You knew I was coming. I knew you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> Want to introduce me to your bride? This is Sharon, my wife, my lovely wife. And you actually work in the business, right, Sharon? I do. So this is a new home? Yeah, we've only been here six months. Okay, oh, this is beautiful. Isn't it fun? It's just such art. All of the little things. When you have your own water feature, you can just play with it and everything else. I loved that driftwood and I loved the little element of having a little flow of water coming out, a little trickle like that. If I just look at this entire thing and what's so fun about it is it's a brand new pond. It's yeah. only gonna continue to get nicer with age. Do you enjoy it? Do you like living the lifestyle? <laughs> and the animals and, love it. They out here every day. Okay, so this is Ozzy? Ozzy, yeah. Ozzy, beautiful pup. Jeez. Look at you. Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> and then what's the cat's name? Minu. What's that? Minu. Minu. <laughs> Minu. Look at him. He's just all attitude. The animals usually love the natural water features more than, you know, a bowl in the house. Yeah. In fact, I was at one lady's house and she actually goes out and scoops the water out of her pond and puts it inside of her house because that's what the dog prefers. Yeah, I mean, one of the next ponds we'll go to, they specifically asked me to put a spitter in. They said it's the only water the dog will drink. He won't drink water out of his bowl. He has to come out to the pond and drink his water. Smart dog. Yeah. So we got a tropical lily that's just yeah. starting to bloom. One of the reasons you can tell it's a tropical is it's the serrated leaves around the edges and the lilies go higher up. Got some fish caves in here. I don't see the fish, are they hiding still? Yeah, they're hiding. They're actually from another pond, so they used to be in a pond. And then I plant a lot of that grass in the pond. Yes. And I actually plant this in the biofalls filters too, because once it takes hold, it helps the filtration so much, the pond balances out, you don't have to do anything. Right. It of itself. So with our crew, when we come in, we do a typical pond like this. I usually take two and a half days. This particular pond would be around 12 to 15,000. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to just spend hours on that patio? Just looking at this. Ever since you built it, what? Ever since I built this pond, this cat sits out here all day long and just is mesmerized by the pond. <laughs> so Absolutely the, mesmerized. And where does he sit? He sits oh, there oh, all over the place. Rock, rock. The coolest, I haven't got a picture of me, is he gets on that log like a little tiger and he stretches out. <laughs> And he scratches on it. It's like a scratching post. So he loves the pond. Yeah. Let me move my camera for you there, buddy. Oh, what a beautiful cat. 15 years old, huh? Well, this is, this is what retirement looks like for a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so what do you do for your husband, Trevor? I'm the computer whiz, I guess. We all need that. He calls customers back. Nice. Yeah, I print out all his aquascape leads and make sure he follows up on all those. What do you enjoy about living the aquascape lifestyle? Well, we had this yard without the water feature and I hardly ever came out. I mean, I would come out and sit. But now, I come out 
much more. Just right. So you spend a lot more time outside in nature yeah. because you have a reason to be outside because you can hang out with your cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor, how would you describe the aquascape water feature and why do you enjoy How do you enjoy living it as a contractor yourself? You know, the funny thing is I work all day, I build these water features. I have just as much enjoyment when I come home and I piddle around with my own water feature. I change little things in it every day. Amen. And then I just sit down and relax. I don't watch TV when I come home. I just sit here with uh, Minnie the cat and we'll just sit out and chill by the pond. And it just recharges my batteries. Amen. So, This is cool. So this is your rock yard. You work out of your garage and they deliver the rock or you pick it up for your job sites, right? Right. I don't ever handle the rock until it gets to the actual site. I pick it out. They do all the delivering for me. Yeah, and drop Trailer it off. Landscape supply, drop it off. So it makes my life a lot easier. Keep it simple, right? stupid. Exactly. All right. So you got some demo water features we can see here, right? Yep. All right. to do is as this landscape yard progresses I'm actually just trying to create new like little discovery zones everywhere people go in the yard uh -huh. so they walk down this area they'll find another example of a small pondless waterfall this little pondless waterfall we can pretty much fit in any landscape oh yeah I see it yep, that one right there oh there's even another one I love it the backyard habitat so people that just want to have something small and what would a project like this be from Island this particular one sells for 3900 okay so for under four thousand dollars right this is the ultimate bird sanctuary coming down here because I will tell you when you have that sound you will pull the birds out of the sky like nothing else and they love where they can get in and bathe in shallow slow moving water Look at how well the landscaping is done. And this is a key here. It's almost more plants than rocks. There's rocks under every one of those plants, but you can't see it because it's softened up the borders. That is a properly designed waterfall. Now I'm also gonna tell you something too. I'm gonna guess from here to here, that's maybe what, 18 inches? Uh, yeah, yeah. 18 inch waterfall. Now if you went any higher, look at the trees around it. It would look like a volcano spewing lava. That's an 18 inch natural looking waterfall nice slope the biofall is completely hidden this is a trick for everybody do not make the waterfalls look like a volcano spilling lava put the berm so it's nice and fanned out and don't go with a high waterfall if somebody tells you they want a four foot high waterfall they'll probably show you a picture like this they don't realize that that's 18 inches and that's a natural height for this i love the moss look at how this moss has grown under here right underneath the waterfall so i'm assuming that this is on a timer nope nope okay it's so the moss is still time. growing even with it going 24 7. i mean i literally take moss off these waterfalls every week and take into another waterfall is this just the right environment for it see the little snails on here yep these little guys eat all the algae off the system so i, I actually don't even treat the system yeah it's in the shade it's enough it's yeah. not getting full sun it's an ecosystem just spectacular i see another one over here <laughs> so you're just full of water features here and they love it because it entertains their customers right, right. yeah it's an experience it adds to your shopping experience you know this looks newer when did you put this one in this one's only been in two months yep yeah, I can tell. And what's amazing is how natural it looks now. Imagine what it's going to like in two years. Right. You know, that's our ultimate goal, to make something look like it's been there forever. Just amazing how you could fit these in anywhere. Right here at the entrance of a busy garden center. And look at this. So this is good for you for showcasing what your talents are to some place that a lot of customers come by. Yeah, a lot of people call me questions saying, hey, what's your pricing? What am I gonna get for a medium pondless waterfall? So I'll say, mm -hmm. come by Taylor's Landscape Supply on display. We have a medium pondless waterfall. This particular one is going for $7,800 installed. And you say it right there so people actually know what the price exactly. is. Exactly, and then we have a, a little yeah, how it works because everybody yeah. doesn't understand that it just recirculates they think where's the water coming from well it's coming from a pump vault down here and aqua blocks and just recirculates back all the time and then we also have other displays here smaller pondless waterfalls and then we have a larger custom water feature in the back mm -hmm. um, so yeah it's a great place to come and 
take a look at the water features. And this allows you to work out of your house. You got exactly. Public display gardens, right. they'll deliver rock to you. Right. Smith Turf and Irrigation will deliver products to you. Exactly. You can work out of one garage bay of your house for everything and have a simple business that's very profitable, that's very enjoyable, that your customers become your friends. Exactly. It's been an absolute blast, my friend. That's the aquascape ecosystem, baby. And this is what an aquascape ecosystem looks like, properly built. Look at those happy, healthy fish. Once again, not a very deep pond, but it works down here in South Carolina. And like you said, kids just sit here for hours and we'll watch and feed those fish and play with them. Another stack slate. Urns over here. Look at how natural it looks. And this is amazing. This entire space with three completely separate water features is just built up in a driveway. Got a little pergola over top of it, help it with some of the shade. And this is a commercial, industrial rock yard and garden center. And yet, here's a beautiful aquascape display to let people know what living the aquascape lifestyle is all about. Trevor really is a good businessman. We want more good businessmen. We want more certified aquascape counters that are passionate like Trevor. And if you're out there and want a career in water features, guys like Trevor, certified aquascape counters, aquascape are always looking for passionate people to help us create the lifestyle for others. Check out the link below on how to be a certified aquascape contractor. And I'll even put a link below to aquascape training online so that you can actually learn about ecosystem water features from the comfort of your own home. I love my job.